Yep, we got Coach here. <clears throat> coach, talk about uh, outstanding football game, I thought, by your team tonight, especially offensively. I thought we executed really well and moved the football, and I thought our offensive line played extremely well tonight. Talk about those guys. No, I think they did, too. You know, they're getting better every each and every game, and I think a lot of it's because of the development of Carver. He can do more things now than he could be at the beginning of the year. He can throw the ball. He can run the ball. And when they get really heavy in the box like they do, you know, he, he burn them a couple times, and that's what you have to do in order to have a little blend in your offense. Absolutely, and, and a team that comes in averaging 41 points a game or whatever that was, and, and you hold them to six, you know, on a, on a long touchdown play there at the end. Impressive job by our defense. You know, talk about those guys tonight. I thought our defense played lights out. They did a lot of things. We showed a lot of different coverages. We bracketed. We played two. We played a whole bunch of different stuff that we tried to do, and, and I was plus with, I really impressed with that. I thought we hit hard tonight, too. I mean, we hit, we had some sticks out there, and I think it kind of wore them down a little bit. Absolutely. And then lastly, here in the, in the huddle, well, I got a couple things for you, actually. Lastly, here in the huddle, you talked about uh, not being satisfied, obviously, and, you, and you just get hungrier and hungrier moving forward. You know, talk about what you need to do moving forward next week in the playoffs? Well, you know, we just got to see tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock who we're going to get to play, and then we can you know, formulate our game plan accordingly. But uh, we have to keep working in practice, and we do that. We don't practice as long as we used to right now. If you don't know what you're doing by now at this time of the year, we're trying to give them their legs back a little bit, which I think is a good idea. And But we'll, we'll, we'll still work on some things. We'll probably add some things offensively and defensively, some new wrinkles. But uh, we're just we're proud to be 7-2, and two and uh, and in the state tournament, so that's kind of a neat deal for us. For sure. And, and the last thing I want to talk about, uh, like Quinny pointed out to the people listening, um, you went down and talked to the Cardinal team a after the game was over, and I thought it was outstanding, and I thought it was the right thing to do uh, because I told these guys when I played as a senior, we went down to Cardinal, and it was 50 to nothing, and it was like we were playing ghosts. You know, That just shows how far this program is, has come for, the, for that team, and it's a lot of respect from you going over there and talking to them. Talk about what you said to that team. I just told them that they had to keep their heads up. This is only the second time in their school history that they've made the state tournament. And, and, they, and they were crying and they were upset. And they, but I said, get your heads up. You know, I'm really, really pr proud to have coached against you. I'm honored to be standing here right now to talk to you. And thanks for the coach for allowing me to do this. I'm very, very proud of you. And uh, this is something you'll never forget. You, you had an opportunity tonight to play in the state tournament. And I think that was important for me to say to that coach. He's a young coach. And he's going to call me. And we're going to talk about some things in the offseason and those players deserve to have that. Absolutely. Classy move by Coach Peterson. Survive in advance, moving on to the playoffs. Nice job, Coach. That's right. Thank you.